Good evening and welcome back to Tectonic. Tonight I've got a superb little gadget for you. It's an all-in-one keyboard and mouse that's so small it fits in the palm of your hands. It's not dissimilar in size to uh, an iPhone, standard iPhone Pro in fact. Uh, it comes working with Bluetooth as standard and rather unusually for these it's got a small dongle so you can run it off of USB so it's dual, dual connection. It's compatible with Mac, PC, Android TV, Android tablets, pretty much you name it, it's worked with it, no problem at all. It's also backlit, a quick glimpse of it now. Um, it's also backlit, so you probably can't see that too well there, but uh, if you're, especially if you're using it with your TV, like our TV is an Android TV, that's absolutely superb for it. I say buttons on the corner for left and right mouse clicking, a touch panel, rather like a laptop in the middle there, and that's got gesture control, so a single one finger tap gives you left click, two fingers gives you right click, and two fingers and then drag up and down is scroll. Also though, you do have a scroll wheel on the side there, which is the same as doing the two finger scroll. You've got arrow keys, which depending on the app and what operating system you're working on, they're also up and down. And you've got a series of buttons there for up and down volume control, mute, and the picture of a house there launches your browser on Windows. Um, and you've got a back button there. So if you go to a page, click on that, it will go back a page. Um, and a little context, context menu. Again, this works slightly differently depending on which OS and which device you're using it on. But suffice to say, all of those are very, very handy. And you've got a series of function keys along the top and a function button so you can easily get to all of those keys. I wouldn't want to type a large script on it or something like that, but it's certainly very quick for entering passwords, setting machines up. I use it on the mini PCs all the time. You can be sure to carry that around. You can connect it with the dongle to start with and then move over to Bluetooth once you've got yourself going. Uh, rechargeable battery in the back. It looks very similar to the little Nokia phone batteries. I'll have to check that one out and see if it is. But certainly this, even with backlight on, is lasting 10 plus hours. Without the backlight on, it's about 40 hours and that's of continuous use. After about three minutes of no use, it goes into standby mode, which extends the battery. And if you did need to charge it, you probably have a USB port available. It's nice to see it's a standard USB-C on there. So all in all, a brilliant little keyboard. And the $64,000 question is how much? Well, in the UK, it's under £20. It's $19.99. I'll stick links down below. Uh, there'll be a similar thing on Amazon for America. I'll put a link for that as well if I can find one. Uh, but I have to say, absolutely perfect. Really love it. Super lightweight and does the job. Anyway, if you like tech like this and you're interested in setting up mini PCs, I've got a couple more videos coming along in the next probably week or so um, covering the new Mini Forum uh, PC, which is absolutely superb. Uh, absolute beast of a machine and it's the nearest thing I've had on a Windows mini PC to the Mac mini. Um, you certainly do video editing um, on it, no problem at all. I've got another video coming up shortly on NAS drives and using those for network uh, video editing and um, on the conversion over to 2.5 gig for my local network which is uh, quite useful. So I'll take you through that one as well. So if you're into this sort of thing and making tech more interesting, then please uh, give me a like and subscribe if you want to see more and be kept up to date. Anyway, that's enough for tonight. I will see you soon.